fun to see. Now we'll see Kristen. Yes, well, weather-wise, not as much going on today, unfortunately. We're seeing a lot up in the northern mountains, but we had some of that drier air that was in the southeast, kept things sunny over that way yesterday. That dry air has filtered into the central part of the state, and so while we have this moisture at the, at the surface that gets the clouds going, like you see right here, those clouds aren't able to build very much, and when they can't build, it can't produce any rain, so uh, we're not seeing much at all. Northern mountains have seen a few showers, and even in Taos, this is a look at our Taos HD cam, you can see the sky is kind of darkening there, and there have been a few hit or miss showers, but not a whole lot even going on there. M more activity actually going on over in the Jemez Mountains, just a little bit farther to the west. This is a look out at the Sandias, and the winds picked up a bit. We saw some gusts under 25 miles an hour, sustained winds at nearly 20 miles an hour, uh, but no rain, and certainly far from where we were yesterday when it comes to the moisture. Here's a look at the radar. This is where the storms are right now. Again, the northern mountains, these are heading to the west. You can see the showers near Cuesta, uh, down towards Santa Fe. Nothing going on in Santa Fe, but some showers in the mountains there, and then again, the Jemez Mountains, the focus right now for those showers and thunderstorms. We've even seen a few showers move through Farmington, a few thunderstorms in and around that area. Also up in the Four Corners, Durango, even seeing a few spot showers and storms. So this is where all the moisture is. And, of course, you go farther west and you go out toward Arizona, and there's even more activity going on there. So that's where the moisture is heading. It's heading to the west, so away from us, and that's keeping things bone dry out across the east. You can see those thunderstorms firing here. Out over Arizona, and that has to do with the position of high pressure. And basically, what's happening is we have that sinking air, that drier air, and that's just limiting those thunderstorms from developing. And it's going to build in, so the trend is going to be for us to see fewer and fewer thunderstorms as we head through the rest of this work week. Tomorrow's Friday, and going into the weekend. So for tonight, the few thunderstorms that are around across north northwestern New Mexico will diminish pretty quickly after the sun goes down. And then as we go into tomorrow afternoon, basically more of the same. We'll watch for a few spotty thunder. Storms in the northern mountains, probably even fewer than what we're seeing today. And then out across western New Mexico, the higher terrain there may see a few spot storms. Now, there is a disturbance passing by uh, south of New Mexico that may enhance a few showers down in the far southwestern part of the state, but for the most part, we're not going to see a whole lot of activity. When that dry air in place and high pressure building in out east, temperatures are going to be back up again, 5 to 10 degrees above average. So, most of the moisture heading on into Arizona, just a few spot mountain thunderstorms for us here in New Mexico. Next week, Week, though is looking better. High pressure finally eases back to the east, and that's going to allow uh, the monsoonal door to open with some more moisture moving in from the Gulf of Mexico, bringing us better storm chances across central and western New Mexico next week. Temperatures out there right now, low 90s for Albuquerque, and we're in the low to mid 90s in the southeast. It is going to be a lot hotter here as we go into the weekend down in the southeast and eastern New Mexico, about 10 degrees above average. Southern Colorado, partly sunny skies. A few afternoon storms are possible tomorrow, and then maybe even a few storms this weekend with highs mainly in the mid to upper 80s. North and west, partly cloudy tomorrow, and we'll watch for a few more thunderstorms in the afternoon. Isolated, though, so very spotty, not a whole lot going on in the northwest. Down to southwest, scattered thunderstorms with highs in the mid to upper 80s for Silver City. And everyone else topping out in the low to mid 90s. And again, we'll see decent storm chances tomorrow going into the weekend, the chance for a few afternoon thunderstorms. But once you head east, those storm chances are slim to none. Mostly sunny skies with highs in the mid 90s. Sacramento Mountains may try to squeeze out a shower tomorrow. We didn't see one today, so we'll be hard pressed to see one tomorrow in those highs. Get on up there into the upper 90s and triple digit heat for Roswell. North and east, partly cloudy, just the slimmest of a chance for a stray thunderstorm tomorrow. Rain chances stay slim even through the weekend. Northern mountains, we'll see another round of afternoon thunderstorms, but even fewer than what we saw today. And uh, those will be primarily over in the Hemis Mountains. Santa Fe, slight chance for a storm, but not looking really good for you through the weekend. Looking mainly dry with highs in the mid 80s. East Mountains, highs near 90, just a slight chance for storms tomorrow afternoon for the metro. Probably won't see anything tonight, and tomorrow we'll be hard pressed to get any thunderstorms going either. The weekend looking mainly dry, mid 90s. We'll have to wait till the middle part of next week to get those storm chances back going again. All right. Thank you, okay. Kristen. Sports is next.